Welcome to topic one. My name is Shayla Lanier and I am your professor. So today, before the end of the day, be sure and fill out your summary of current course knowledge. That just gives me an idea. What do you know? What do you not know? What are you worried about? Most people worry about the time requirements of the class and they are intense. There's a lot of reading. One suggestion I just preach like crazy because it works so well for me is I get up 30 minutes earlier. And even just those 30 minutes, 30 focused minutes in the morning make a tremendous difference because then when I get to the weekend, it's not an overwhelming amount. So that's just a, a helpful suggestion from me. All right, also by Wednesday, your class introductions. That's my favorite. I get to know you and, and that for me, I really love that. So I look forward to those. Also on Wednesday, this week we talk about immigration and migration. So obviously when the colonists showed up. Um, this land was already inhabited. It was inhabited by the Native Americans. And the colonists just sort of pushed them. Um, we, we have a neighbor that does that. He helps himself to part of our land on occasion. And on occasion, my husband has to have a discussion. Um, so it's, it's irritating. I can't imagine being completely displaced. This book by Joel Richard Paul is excellent, indivisible. And it talks about sort of the attitudes toward the Native Americans. So it says in 18, on page 142, it says in 1802, the state of Georgia agreed with the Jefferson administration to cede certain Western land to the federal government in exchange for a federal promise to purchase tribal land within the state's boundaries to be used by the white people of Georgia. The Cherokee and Creek tribes refused to sell. However, Georgia threatened to seize the land if the federal government did not remove the tribes. And you'll read the 1830 Indian Removal Act, just the attitude. These were people's homes, livelihoods, farms, and just the idea of them being removed. It, it's so much tragedy. And that's part of the study of history is we have to look at the bad, the painful, the good, because we need the whole picture. So there are some hard topics in this class. Um, if you're struggling, please reach out to me. But your first response, your initial response to discussion question one is due Wednesday. Your initial response to discussion question two is due Friday. And that's the motivations for English colonization in America. It wasn't just religion. England had a system of inheritance that involved land. England is not huge. <laughs> they were running out of land. So the New World offered an opportunity for nobles to have land. Um, also this week you have a journal assignment. So that's where you are putting your, you know, an imaginary scenario of an immigrant coming to this country. Based on your reading this week, you have an idea of what their experience would be like. Um, you need to have your sources. Make sure you always check out the rubric, the scoring guide. That's going to make sure that you don't leave anything out. Um, also, there are always minimum word counts for assignments. And um, then you have a quiz. Now, participation. Those are six interactive discussions, um, discussion responses with your peers. They are not, um, the six does not include your first initial responses to the two discussion prompts. So keep that in mind. Reach out to me with any questions and have a great first week. Welcome.